everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this two hour corner to corner blanket. And uh, as you can see here, and I'm sorry my photos in black and white, my printer ran out of color ink. Uh, but if you head on over to my blog, you'll see lots more photos there in color uh, and showing the full blanket as well as some of the details. So as you can see here, um, this is a corner to corner blanket worked in this Bernat blanket big yarn. Now this is very, very big yarn. It's a 100% polyester yarn and it's in the jumbo yarn category. Their recommended hook size is a 25 millimeter hook. Today I'm going to be using this 35 millimeter hook here, uh, so it's quite large. But because it is quite large, the uh, blanket works up very, very quickly, and it also means that it's super plush and super cozy. So I'm sure that you're going to love working on this project. So head on over to my blog, the direct link to the written pattern is there in the description for this video. You are going to need about nine balls of this Bernat Blanket Big or an equivalent yarn. Um, I found this yarn at the Spinrite factory, the Listowel Yarn Factory in Listowel, Ontario. It's also available at uh, most Michael's stores at the time of filming this tutorial. So you're going to need about nine balls of it. Uh, each ball has about 32 yards in it. You're also going to need a copy of the written crochet pattern. Once again, it's there on my blog. And uh, a 35 millimeter crochet hook. This finished blanket measures about 54 inches by 54 inches. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to get my hook here and my yarn ready and we'll learn how to crochet the two hour corner to corner blanket. So welcome black. Our blanket today is worked in a corner to corner fashion. So it is worked uh, on the diagonal. You're going to start in one corner and work your way across to the opposite corner. And uh, how we're going to do that is by working with single crochet stitches in the back loop only. So you're going to start by making a slip knot And you're going to chain two. One and two. You're then going to, in the second chain from your hook, so that's this one right here, you're going to single crochet three stitches. So work three single crochet stitches all into that second chain. And it does take a little bit to get used to it because it is so big and uh, the hook a little bit awkward but you'll get there so work three single crochet stitches into that corner stitch that's your row one for your row two you're going to chain one and turn your work we're now going to be working in our back loops only so if you take a look, this is my chain stitch. If you take a look at the top of your stitches here, you will see this V and you're going to be working in the loop under that horizontal bar that's the furthest away from you. And you're going to always do that from here on in the blanket. So into that first stitch, do not count your chain stitch. Into your first stitch, you're going to work under the back loop only two single crochet stitches. There's one and two. One single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. And then into your final stitch under the back loops only work two more stitches. One and it gets easier the bigger your blanket gets. You now have a total of five stitches in your second row. For the row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. 
you're now essentially going to be repeating that row two. So in the back loop only, work two single crochets into your first stitch. In the back loop only, single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. So uh, in the middle three, so one in each of the next three for this row. One single crochet in each stitch all the way across to your final stitch where you're going to work two single crochet stitches into your final stitch. And that brings you to the end of row three. Chain one and turn your work. You now have seven stitches. You're going to continue to repeat that row three until you have a total of 37 stitches. So you should always be increasing by the odd number. Continue working these rows until you have a total of 37 stitches in that row. Uh, you're going to have, it's going to be a total of 19 rows before you get there. So you're going to work in the back loop only, two single crochets in that first stitch, one single crochet in each stitch, in the back loop only, all the way to your final stitch. And then two stitches into your final stitch. chain one and turn your work. Now if I take a look at it you can see that pattern here coming. This is our first corner. It's going to look like it's going to curve a little bit but don't worry about that right now. When you start working your uh, decrease rows uh, you won't see this curve at all. It's all going to straighten out. You don't have to worry. Okay so continue increasing your rows until you have a total of 37 stitches It'll be a total of 19 rows. Then meet me back here and I'm going to show you how to work our decrease rows so that we can close our triangle together. So welcome back. By now you will have worked uh, to 37 stitches. I still have my small swatch here um, that I'm going to just show you how to work our decrease rows, but yours will be quite large. Um, so what you're going to do once you have 37 stitches here across the top is you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. We're now going to decrease. We're going to continue to work in that back loop only, okay? And uh, our first stitch is going to be a single crochet two together. So in the back loops only, don't ignore your chain stitch there. In your back loops of your single crochet stitches, you're going to insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Back loop only of the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. That's your first single crochet two together. You're then going to, as we did before, in the back loop only, single crochet in each stitch all the way across to the final two stitches. So work single crochet, back loop only, all the way across to your final two stitches. I have one more here. When you come to your final two stitches, you're going to work another single crochet two together. So back loop only, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. Next stitch, back loop only, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. 
chain one, turn your work, and you're going to repeat that row until you have only three stitches remaining. So I'm going to continue working here. So single crochet two together in the back loop only, single crochet in each stitch all the way across to your final two stitches. and single crochet two together. And what you're going to see is that it's going to start forming the rest of your square blanket there. So you can see if I pull back here, my rows are starting to get more narrow and it'll be more apparent if you have a larger blanket. So once again, you're gonna continue that until you have three stitches remaining Single crochet two together, single crochet in each stitch, the final two stitches, single crochet two together. When you have three stitches remaining, chain one, Turn your work, and in that final three stitches, you're going to work a single crochet three together. So in the back loop only, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop of the next stitch, repeat in the next two stitches, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, into that final one, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all four loops and that will bring you to the final corner of your blanket and then just fasten off. So your blanket, uh, by the time you hit your 37 rows, should measure a lot bigger than this one, but approximately 54 inches by 54 inches. At that point, you can fasten off and weave in your ends and uh, we're just going to add a simple edging to our blanket. So once you have completed your blanket, you're going to add a simple edging. My edging was simply a single crochet stitch all the way around. So you're going to join your yarn in the top right hand corner. And you're going to work, uh, because there's no uh, clear stitches of where to work, uh, you're just going to work single crochet stitches evenly all the way across. Now I pretty much worked one single crochet stitch per row. Um, but it's really what you're comfortable with. You don't want them too loose, but you don't want them bunched up together too much. So you're just going to work single crochet stitches as I am here. Just evenly space them out. Keep track of how many stitches you work around along that first row or that first side because you're going to want to have the same stitches uh, on each side. When you get to your corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches into your corner stitch. There's one, two, and three. That should bring you along the next side of your blanket. Continue on working the same number of single crochet stitches along that edge as you did the previous one. Continue that all the way around your blanket. And when you come back to your top corner, work three stitches in your final corner, and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And that is all there is to your two hour C to C blanket. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you work on this project and would like to share your work, uh, join me on my Facebook community group, the Rich Textures Crochet Community uh, group on Facebook. There you can show pictures and I love to see what you're working on. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and happy crocheting. Bye.